Hello fabulous Taurus, welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2016, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. Now last month I told you that this would be a big month for you and here we are. It is absolutely lovely, it is absolutely, yeah, it's big, it's breathtaking and it is a month that can very much be one of those standout times. When you look back at this time in your life, this year certainly, this can be one of those months that really does stand out to you in a very beautiful way. This month, we have a full moon happening smack dab in the middle of the month in your sign. And this full moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto. I mean, talk about a lift, talk about strength, talk about you making some kind of power move that makes you feel absolutely strong and light and certain about yourself. And this can be manifesting something really beautiful, especially if you've been working on it over the course of the last six months. What I would also say with this particular energy is that if there's any kind of major change you've been looking to make or something you know whose time has come to a close, now this could be a practical, actual circumstance in your life, but this could also be in terms of your own personal heart as well. If you know that there's a particular area of life where you need forgiveness, where you need to bring a healthy closure, this particular full moon in the middle of the month will go a whole long way to help you to move in that direction. What I do really love about this full month is that, or rather this full moon in the middle of the month, is that your heart is very much on your sleeve. What you really want is very apparent to you and you're willing to make changes, in some cases, very brave changes, very bold changes to move yourself in the direction that you truly desire to go. That's beautiful. That is self-honesty. And really that self-honesty is going to become very apparent. Where is it that you need to now own your happiness? Where is it that energetically, emotionally, you're ready to move forward to a more empowered state of being will reveal itself to you. And ultimately acknowledging that is the first step towards moving towards a life that feels that much more fulfilling with that much more happiness as well. So that's happening in the middle of the month, but that's not all that's happening this month. Of course, we do have at the beginning of the month, and this actually is happening like right around Halloween. So we're entering the month with an energy for you that is about partnerships, relationships, one-on-one -on -one connections. It has to do with um, your understanding of the role that love is going to play in your life regardless of if you are somebody who is in an established bond or somebody open to meeting someone new, it is going to be in the early part of the month when you've got lots of cosmic support to go leaps and bounds forward in terms of your understanding of love and the role it's gonna play in your life. Now, this particular uh, new moon is very dreamy. It's got an energy to it that's very hopeful, very fantastical, and there's just a little bit of passion uh, thrown in there as well. You are going to have to wait a little bit to see what it's going to mean in the bigger picture. There's not a whole lot of the things I like to see that suggest uh, longevity, that suggest things being really tangible. And that might not be the point. The point might be here for you to see and to acknowledge where it is that you actually are, to have a little bit of a reality check. But also the point of this, as I look at this, is for you to appreciate that there are options available to you that there's support available to you, that people are on your side, people want to align with you. And especially if you're open to meeting someone new, this kind of sky can have you taking a deep consideration and a meaningful consideration into what kind of love it is that you truly desire and you truly deserve. If you're in an established bond, you can't expect your partner to come through for you in a beautiful kind of way. You can't expect your partner uh, to really do something that makes you feel that they absolutely outdid themselves or in some way realize magic, nothing less than magic, thanks to your partner. As we move towards the later part of the month, we do have another new moon taking place. Now this new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with what we call other people's money. And this particular new moon is gonna set off a period of time where there is gonna be a very strong financial focus going right into the middle of next month. I would also say that right around this new moon, we also have Mercury going into shadow, gearing up to go into shadow right around this new moon actually. 
or newly in shadow. And so really, if there's any kind of Halloween, not Halloween, holiday, <laughs> if there's any kind of holiday shopping you've got to get done or Halloween shopping, um, you know, stock up for next year. If there's any kind of thing you want to do like that, I would advise you to get that done, especially in the middle of this month when you've got all this fortunate, prosperous energy with you. Um, I think the funding will be there. I think you will find great deals. You'll feel so happy. It'll make you happy to know you're making other people happy. And what you choose will end up being like beyond ideal. So that's happening in the middle of this month. I would say for you, holiday shopping should certainly take place in the middle of this month. Don't wait until the late part of this month or into next month because as we get towards the end of this month, the energy seems to be a little bit, um, if you are feeling like you've got these big expenses or some large purchase to make, it's not using this energy to your advantage. Um, there is energy here that does suggest a need to be aware of your own emotions and feelings around money, around prosperity, to heal any issues that may be there so that you're open to greater prosperity, certainly in the bigger picture. This particular area has to do with dealing with financial institutions or benefits you may qualify for, dealing with people who can help you along that path. And chances are that it's not gonna be as clear as you may wish. Uh, just know that it's possible that you put in some documentation and it comes back not being correct. You've got to consider an even further step. Uh, so just be a little bit mindful of that. That does become possible under this energy. It's just an energy. It will pass. And really the sky is setting up really nicely right about now for all of us in our own unique journey to have a personal breakthrough of one kind or another towards the later part of December. Of course, I'll be here to talk about it then. December is set to be a really lucky month for a whole lot of us out there, and that, of course, of course, includes you as well. But I would say, as I look at this, don't let a momentary energy say something of the bigger picture, because really, it just looks like there's a moment. You might have to fill out the application again or make sure that you're providing some backup documentation when dealing with a bank, uh, or you may have to like think about renegotiating your mortgage something like that comes up very quickly um, and ultimately it might not necessarily be clear what it is that you can do to empower yourself but if you do something and you do your best and you surrender the rest then the money you need is going to be there so just be aware of that certainly i will say also not the time to be taking any kind of major financial advice investment advice not the time to be looking at cashing in on any major investments as well so keep that in mind and then you put it to the side and you focus instead on where all the power is, which is mid month. The universe is so on your side now. I mean, normally the universe is right. Of course, as part of the mystery, moving us all in a positive direction. And for you in particular, the universe is very much on your side to make some kind of move, some type of connection, some type of leap forward towards what it is that you truly desire in your heart of hearts and you are moving in a positive direction to realize many dreams but certainly at least one key dream about to come true.